Dostlar selamlar birbirine sorun yeni bölümüne hepiniz hoş geldiniz. Konumuz Ryan Kent olacak. Birçok yerli basın haberine göre Fenerbahçe Ryan Kent ile anlaşmaya vardı. İngiliz oyuncunun nasıl bir oyuncu olduğunu, merak ettiklerinizi, skora katkısını, oyuncu tiplemesini BT Sport yorumcusu aynı zamanda Rangers yorumcusu Emma Dossa ile ettik. Kendisine Rangers taraftarının şarkı yazmışlığı bile vardır. Yani Rangers'a dair her şeyi bize net bir şekilde anlatacak isim sevgili Emma Dots'tu. Biz de Ryan Kent'e dair tüm sorularımızı ona ilettik. Şimdiden beğenip abone olmayı unutmayın çünkü bu yaz gerçekten tüm transferleri burada konuşacağız. Hepiniz içeriğimize hoş geldiniz. Evet ilk sorumuza başlayalım. E, yıllardan beri Rangers'ı izliyorsunuz ve Ryan Kent yıllardan beri aslında gözünüzün önünde İskoçya'da topu oynuyor. Ryan Kent'in öne çıkan özellikleri neler, hangi özellikler konusunda e, geri planda kaldığınızı düşünüyorsunuz? Yani bizim klasik oyuncunun artıları, eksileri neler sorumuza bakalım. E, Emma Dost nasıl cevap vermiş? There's no doubting uh, Ryan Kent is a, a very technical player. He's a very good football player. Uh, one of his biggest assets is his pace, which I think a lot of people are familiar with. He's also very good with both feet, meaning he can be equally as dangerous on the left or the right hand side. He, he's comfortable uh, passing, comfortable crossing, comfortable shooting with both his left and his right. Um, his pace is probably the one thing that stands out. He tends to hug the touchline a lot. And then with that, his technical ability allows him to beat players At times with great ease, one of his biggest issues though does seem to be confidence. Uh, when his confidence is not as high as it could be, you see him maybe opting for the safe option rather than pressing forward and trying to beat the player for fear of maybe being tackled or fear of, of maybe losing the ball. But when his confidence is high, he is an excellent player to have in the team. He's brave as well for somebody who's constantly being fouled. Um, and in Scotland, when Rangers play against other teams outside of Celtic, the other teams at times can, can sit back to, to try and defend, making his job quite difficult. But there's no doubt that he can be an asset to, to an attacking team. He can play anywhere along the, the front three. Um, and yeah, he, you know, I think goals um, is another thing that would work against him. He doesn't score enough. I don't think just three goals for him this season, which I think if... If you're looking at your wingers, you probably would want them to contribute with more than that. But he is always on hand, you know, for crosses. And he, he does have a decent ratio at taking shots at goal. But unfortunately, from his perspective, particularly this season, they haven't gone in. If you look at the year Rangers won the league, he's, he contributed with 13 goals that season. So his numbers were good. He also had a number of assists as well. So, um, yeah, from Ryan Kent, he, he's got a lot of qualities but he does also have a couple of things that I think when he steps up to to perhaps a more competitive league he might have um, some issues trying to hold down a starting place. İkinci sorumu şu şekilde sormak istedim. Bildiğiniz gibi Ryan Kent bir sol kanat oyuncusu ama birçok farklı mevkide oynayabildiğini söylediniz. Fenerbahçe'den onun e, maksimum verim alabileceği rol nedir? Hani içe kat eden kanat oyuncusu mudur? Çizgi kanat oyuncusu mudur? Oyun kurucu mudur? Ya playmaker mıdır? Yoksa daha çok topu ayağını isteyen oyuncu mudur? Aslında biraz oyuncu tiplemesine yoğunlaşmak istedim bu soruda. Bakalım cevabı ne olmuş? Kent's best position. I think one of his biggest qualities is how versatile he is. I mentioned earlier how comfortable, how comfortable he is with both feet. Um, which means you can play him on the left or the right wing. He's also been played in just behind the striker, which again offers a different threat from what teams are perhaps used to having with him. Um, his pace is a real asset, you know, both defensively, if trying to break down a counter-attack or if you're trying to launch a counter-attack, you know, it, it's always something very valuable to have into the team. He's also got strong awareness, you know, he's very good at, at looking up when he's got the ball. He's not somebody who just puts the head down Uh, and gets on with things. Uh, he's good at, at involving other players as well. So, I mean, I would imagine that if you're looking to bring Ryan Kent to your club, that you would be looking to play on, on either wing because, um, as I mentioned, there's been a period of time where Rangers did play him on the right and he used to cut in on the left. Uh, and also he can, you know, as is quite famous, he plays on the left and can cut in on his right. So there are a number of options with Ryan Kent that... Um, Yeah, I think his versatility is certainly a, a positive when potential managers and scouts are looking at, at bringing him in. Sevgili Emma'ya biraz daha dedikodu var bir soru sorayım şimdi. Çünkü 
Ryan Kent daha önce Premier Lig'den birçok teklif aldığı söylenen bir oyuncuydu. Ve Rangers doğru zamanda onu satamamış gözüküyor. E şimdi de bedava olarak kulüpten ayrılmasına nasıl izin veriyorlar aslında bunu sormak istiyorum. Emma Dodds'a çünkü bir yatırım yapılmış, iyi bir para verilmiş ve şimdi bedava bir şekilde kulüpten ayrılmasına nasıl razı oluyorlar bakalım. Well there's been no announcement from Rangers or from Ryan Kent yet. All the signs are pointing to the fact that he will be leaving Ibrox this summer. His contract expires at the end of the season. Um, while talks have been ongoing, nothing has been signed or agreed. Um, so I think it is looking increasingly unlikely that he won't be at Ibrox next season. Um, there have been offers for him in the past. Rangers paid £7 million pounds for him back in 2019. He was on loan from Liverpool the season before and then Steven Gerrard got the deal done to bring him to Ibrox on a permanent basis and at the time um, you know that was seen as a very good piece of business but now the fact that uh, he's leaving for nothing is very disappointing for the Rangers fans um, and no doubt for the club as well because he was a, a marquee signing for a lot of money um, but yeah he is likely I would imagine to be moving on the fact that nothing's been announced yet but until the end of the season you never know uh, we saw it last season with Connor Goldson everybody thought that he would be leaving Ibrox and in fact after the end of the season it was announced he would stay so you never say never in football but as things stand it would seem that um, a lot of things are pointing to the fact that Ryan Kent will be leaving Ibrox at the end of his contract when it expires in the summer. Sıradaki soruyu aslında biraz Fenerbahçe taraftarına ayırmak istedim. E, Emma'ya Fenerbahçe taraftarının Ryan Kent'in ismi geçmeye başladığı andan itibaren Oyuncunun durumunu özellikle attığı gol sayısı üzerinden eleştiri yağmuruna tuttuklarından bahsettim ve Ryan Kent'in bir bitirme soru, finishing problemi olup olmadığını aslında Emma'dan duymak istediğimi söyledim. Bakalım nasıl cevap vermiş. I think Ryan Kent would be the first to admit that he should be scoring more goals in whichever team he's playing in. Um, I mentioned earlier that during the season Rangers won the league. He contributed 13 goals to, to that campaign, which for a winger was a reasonable return. Add into that all of his assists as well, plus his overall contributions within the games. And I think his managers and coaches at the time were very satisfied with his numbers. But since then, he's not managed to reach those heights. Rangers haven't enjoyed the same success on the field as far as the league is concerned. They, of course, made it to the Europa League final last season but even in that campaign where you know players were playing upwards of 50 55 games in a season he only managed to score three goals three goals again this season so yeah i do think that his lack of goals for somebody who is as technically gifted as he is and who gets himself into such good positions as well um i think he himself would admit that that he should be scoring more goals does some of it come down to confidence i think very much so you know a confident player would perhaps take the shot whereas a not so confident player will look for the pass so you know if you don't shoot you don't score as the the saying goes but yeah i think ryan kent will definitely be looking to improve his numbers and you know maybe playing for for a different club with a fresh challenge is what he needs to to rejuvenate himself you know he's been at rangers a number of years now maybe he needs a fresh challenge to try and um, to try and improve that side of his game but i think it will be an area that coaches and managers are looking to improve for him and i think it's something that he himself will look to improve on as well because he is capable he definitely is capable of scoring more goals it's just whether you know he has to be more brave on the ball or he, you know he has to take more shots that will ultimately lead to that but either way there's definitely room for improvement at whichever uh, club Ryan Kent ends up at next summer. Even if it's Rangers, there'll still be room for improvement on that front. Konu Türkiye olunca şimdi Ryan Kent'in sağ dışı durumlarını da sormak istedim Emma'ya. E, mesela Büyük Britanya dışında sadece kısa bir Freiburg macerası var Ryan'ın. Ve bunun dışında aslında hep Büyük Britanya'nın içinde oynadı. İşte Liverpool, Rangers. Yani acaba bir adapta problemi yaşar mı Türkiye'ye? Veya sağ dışında parantez içinde gezmesini tozmasını seven bir oyuncu tiplemesi mi? Aslında bunu sordum. Bakalım bu soruya nasıl yanıt vermiş Emma. I can't claim to know Ryan Kent very well off the field. I can only talk about the dealings I've had with him um, in the past. And you know, he, he's a very intelligent young man. He's a very uh, quiet guy as well. He, he doesn't seek the limelight off the pitch. Uh, you you won't see him very often out and about. Um, he tends to keep himself to himself. I don't know how easy that will be to do as a Fenerbahce player if he indeed in, ends up joining the club. But um, 
I believe he is a big fan of, of horses. I believe he actually has some horses at a local stables near where he lives in Glasgow. Um, so I think that is one of his points of interest. You know, what I would say is that before he signed for Rangers, um, he'd been out in a number of loans, which it's not an easy thing to do as a young football player, constantly adapting to new environments and new clubs. He also had a spell with Freiburg. Um, again, that's his, been his only foray into playing for a foreign club outside of the UK. But I think now he's 26, you know, I believe he's quite settled in his private life. So, you know, I think perhaps the first challenge, the first country and, and a place like Turkey where football is equally as important as it is in Glasgow. Um, you know, I know he is very passionate about the clubs he plays for. He gets very passionate for the jersey that he plays for. And I think if he did sign for the club, he would be very popular with the fans for his style of football. Um, and I'm sure, you know, he has the maturity to cope with playing abroad now in a different league and in a different country. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure he would settle in, I really do. Ve gelelim son sorumuza. Emma'ya çok teşekkürlerimizi tabii ki ileteceğiz. Ama Türk medyasına çıkan haberlerin aslında İskoç medyası ayağını sormak istiyorum. Orada Ryan Kent Fenerbahçe dedikodusu nasıl ilerliyor, bir anlaşma olduğu yazıyor mu? Ve Emma'nın gözünden Fenerbahçe transferi olası gözüküyor mu? Aslında bir de bunu soralım bakalım ve Emma'ya teşekkür edip programımızı bitirelim. The rumors about Ryan Kent um, being linked with Fenerbahçe have definitely reached the Scottish media. Um, it's been a topic of conversation amongst Rangers fans for a couple of weeks now, mostly due to, to reports coming out of Turkey. Uh, I'm not sure how much confirmation there has been at this end that those conversations have been had, but um, yes, it's very much on the radar of the media here purely because of what we're hearing coming out uh, of Turkey. So. Um, Yeah, is it possible? Anything is possible in football. You know, if it's Ryan Kent is looking for a challenge to move abroad to a different city, to a different culture and to a different type of football, then of course it's possible. He's a, a free agent. So I would imagine a player of Ryan Kent's quality um, will have many options this summer. It's, I guess, how quickly he wants to decide his future. Does he want to sign a contract, then go on a summer vacation and enjoy it with peace of mind? Or does he want to start a bidding war between different clubs um, to see who comes out on top? You know, it, it remains to be seen. But yeah, it looks likely that he'll be leaving Ibrox this summer. The question is, where will he end up? But yeah, the story about Fenerbahce being interested has certainly reached us over here in Scotland. Kent ile ilgili sorularımızı dilimiz döndüğünce sevgili Emma Dost'a ilettik ve ondan da çok teşekkür ediyorum. Yeterli cevapları aldık. Yaza giriyoruz, transfer dönemine giriyoruz. Kanala beğenip abone olmayı unutmayın. Sıradaki videolar kimin hakkında olsun yorumlara yazabilirsiniz, sorularınızı yazabilirsiniz. Bir de beğenip abone olursanız maceramıza bizimle katılabilirsiniz bu yaz. Gelecek videoya kadar kendinize çok iyi bakın dostlar. Hoşçakalın. Thank you.